Tonight, we are finding out more about the suspects who shot at the Denver police officer. We learned Gerardino Gonzalez was the man killed during the shootout. The other man is in jail tonight. And we found out before police caught up to them, the two may have broken into more than one home. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live now. And Jen, there's been more crime in that neighborhood recently. And in just the last two weeks, there have been more than a dozen burglaries, a lot of them in the middle of the day. Add that to an officer being shot, and people who live and work here are concerned. It's alarming to a lot of people, and it's, it's not ideal. It was a wild Monday in this West Highlands neighborhood, two burglaries within 15 minutes. There's definitely been an uptick in burg burglaries in the neighborhood. The second burglary on 34th Avenue led police on a wild chase, leaving one suspect dead, another in custody. And Denver officer Rachel Ide shot in the leg. But it's scary. Um, I just, I think people just need to be aware and always be on the lookout. John Cross runs Pizza Alley across the street from where shots were fired. He grew up here. With the influx of a lot of uh, young uh, professionals moving into the neighborhood, which brings money, uh, crime's going to go up. In just the last two weeks, DPD's crime map shows 13 burglaries and nine car thefts in this area from Low Boulevard to Zunai Street. A lot of these are happening during the day when people aren't home. And that has people worried. A lot of people who visit the Highlands won't want to come to the Highlands because they're afraid to leave their car parked two blocks away. If you don't have a security system or a dog, it's probably not a bad idea to get one. Now, police are still investigating whether the two men involved in yesterday's shooting and chase are connected to the other string of bur burglaries in this neighborhood that has people so concerned. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. And Officer Rachel Ide was released from the hospital last night, and you may have seen her before on Denver Police Department YouTube videos where they followed her around while she worked. She says her job is a very dangerous one, but it's something she would not change at all. It's not every day in this job that you get the chance to really, really make a difference, but those few and far between times that you do, you go home at the end of the day and you go, you wouldn't even have to pay me to do this job some days. I would just... Ide has been with Denver PD for two years, and Chief White says she has an outstanding work record.